Everyone knows I'm the king of Uno. Okay, fine, I lied. Not everyone knows. But after battling the toughest Uno opponents, I was left with no challengers. So it's time for a quest to make my own challengers. But first, I had to make my own Uno. I whipped up some quick Python code to make Uno. There are a lot of different ways people play Uno. I'll quickly brief the important rules for this version. Quick fire. Players start with seven cards. You can't stack plus twos or plus fours to avoid drawing. Those cards also skip a player's turn. And if you don't play a card, you must draw one card. Next, I made four different bots that have different strategies. In the red corner, it's Mandy. Hello. Mandy plays safely. Every turn it will try to match a colour, or less preferably the number, with numbered cards. If it can't, it will try to use special cards like reverses, and wilds as a last resort, drawing if it has none. In the blue corner, we have Nancy. Hello. Nancy is a risk taker. This bot tries to switch the colour whenever it has the chance, else it will just try to play wherever it can, or draw. In the yellow corner, we have Andy. Hello. This one's a bit between Mandy and Nancy. It'll play like Mandy, but if it has a number that matches the last discard, it'll play it first. And finally, in the green corner, there's Randy. Hello. Randy makes completely random plays as long as they're legal. We'll make these bots play 10,000 games of Uno and rank them based on the number of games they won. So, let's do it. So they're battling right now. These bots can be described as greedy algorithms, known for making choices based on current data and never taking them back. Greedy algorithms are stubborn. These bots get their hand and the last discarded card, then they make a choice. Greedy algorithms are often heuristics, meaning that they try to choose good enough solutions instead of perfect ones. It seems the battle has ended. Let's see the results. Coming in last place with only 309 wins, we have Randy Verando. In third place with 1,928 wins, Nancy the Risk Taker. In second place with 3,798 is Andy the Number Matcher. Leaving first place with 3,965 wins to Mandy the Cautionary Player. Yeah, the nicknames just got worse and worse anyways. So Mandy seems to be working well, but I want to do better. I wanted to make a Megabot. The aim of this video is to investigate strategy in Uno. So, I gave Megabot the engines for Mandy, Nancy and Andy. Depending on the hand size, it decides what engine to use via the parameters. I was hoping to find a pattern between strategy and hand size. I ran many games, and it kind of worked. There seemed to be a tiny improvement when we completely forgot about Nancy and used Mandy's engine, except for hand sizes 7, 8 and 10, where it used Andy's engine. I ran a 1v1 between Megabot and Mandy for 50,000 rounds, and Megabot came out slightly ahead with 25,058 wins against Mandy's 24,942 wins. Yeah, I want more, so I gave Megabot superpowers. Megabot can now see how many cards the other players have. When a player has fewer than 3 cards, Megabot will prioritise draw cards and skips. Ran 50,000 games again, and Megabot won against Mandy 25,876 times. It's time to see just how good Megabot actually is. I shall duel it to the death. So, um, how's your day? You doing well? I hope you have a wonderful day. Oh, I lost. You said to the death. Huh? Wait, no. No!